We've been doing a series of pipe welding videos on two inch schedule 80. This one is 6G and we did the root pass video and now we're gonna do the fill in the cap. I'm running off an Everlast 161 STH live arc feature. I'm running a 17 series torch, number five cup, may go to a number six here in a minute, but um, on this fill pass, uh, you know, on a lot of horizontal and stuff, I tend to weave, or if this was larger diameter and larger groove, I would, I would try to weave at a 45 diagonal level with the floor, keep the wire on the top edge of the pool. This one, I'll probably just do a straight walk in here and keep the wire on the top edge up here so that the bead lays flat with the pipe bevel. Okay, last thing we want is underfill at the top and big you know, all of our filler metal down here on the bottom. I want to be able to see both these beveled faces, bevel groove in here. I want to maintain the groove just a little bit. I do want to bring it up to it's almost flush, but I got to be able to see that because that's my guide when I go do the cap. Okay, so this is the fill pass and I'll probably get back up underneath here, rest the cup in here gently and try to walk this in. Just try to gently walk this in here and get some fill pass. I'm only running 120 amps because I don't want to remelt the root pass. I started out on bottom over here. A little uncomfortable to start with. Hadn't been down there in a long time. I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Anyway, we started out and we washed this along here, keeping the wire on the top part of the bevel inside the groove so that the bead eventually lays flat in here. And I got to walking along, trying to stay out old camera guy's way, but right about right here, got real, you know, this is the easy part for me. So we got comfortable and we washed this the rest of the way up. It's in there to the point where it's, it's slightly depressed, but I can still see both of my beveled edges and I need to use those as a guide. So when we come in here and cap this, I personally want to try to do a two bead cap. Uh, we want to build this up so that we have reinforcement above the pipe. And then we'll tie the second one in on top, make sure we don't have any undercut. All right, I'm gonna let this cool off, get back down to air temp. And we'll be back on it. I turned things down, I cooled it off. After that first bead of the cap, I cooled, I let it cool off and everything, and I came over and I, I cooled it down to 100 amps. So I felt comfortable with that. I'm a little, I, it was almost a little sluggish on the way up. It got a little heavy over here at three o'clock, but it blended back in going up to uh, 10, 11, and 12. <clears throat> so, I, you know, maybe that was an amperage thing on my part. Uh, anyway, I walked a two bead cap in here some, I mean, this will get you started. You practice this a lot. If you do this a lot, man, you, can, you can fly them in there real nice. Um, when I used to do them a lot, depending on what was around the pipe, I could either freehand it in there or walk it in there. This one was a little, a little uncomfortable for me. Well, I think we're, what we're gonna do here is we'll probably experiment and uh, get the man cub over here and let him do maybe a single bead walking cap where we're putting the wire clear up on the top edge and letting the wire fall down and we'll get his technique involved too. He probably put it in there like an old golden arm. You, let, we'll see what he's got. Yo Cub, I did a little 6G on the two inch schedule 80. All right. And the way I did my side over here, I left it a little low. So this is what I did, but I did a two bead cap. That might be a little low. You want to do a, a single bead uh, weave in here Yep. Okay. Like, so yeah. you might have to bring that up a little bit, or is that, or is that filled up enough? Yeah, it's a little low. I'm gonna run a fill pass, then I'm gonna run my cap with three thirty seconds wire. So okay. that's about it. All right. Let me grab you some wire. Hook your ground back up. Right. Let's get going. I'm just gonna sit here and let that heat up a little bit. Let my puddle uh, get a little wide because I'm running at ninety five amps. I'm just gonna sit here and move it back and forth before I move forward. I'm gonna put my wire on the top, the top of the pipe, but inside the bevel. So I'm just gonna slowly walk it over, take my time, stay on the inside of the bevel. I don't wanna erase my line. 
so I won't see. It's gonna take my time. I wanna to hug to that top side because gravity pulls down. And I'm just trying to uh, just keep that top wire. If it starts coming down on me, I just roll it with my fingers when I'm coming back across the wire. And I just reposition myself, get off that under overhead spot. Just take my time. Oh, stuck there. I slipped. The reason I slipped because my angle was too steep. I should have just uh, kept rotating. What'd you do? Pull a bob move there and slip? Stick your, <laughs> stick your tongue in? Yeah. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. You know, especially when you buff the pipe off, things are nice and slick. I noticed you use a sanding pad to rough things up. Yeah. I also noticed you were, you had your tungsten barely sticking out past the cup. That's your angle to keep you under control? Yeah, and then in case I like, uh, in case I'm what wrapping around and coming around so I don't slip. Okay. If I'd slip a little bit, I got a little chance of gotcha. not sticking. All right, the reason so I caused this is my wire angle was up too high. When it's up too high and it's liquid puddle, it just did, did the same thing. So I need to actually keep laying this around to like 20 degrees. Okay, so you're gonna come in here and restart and just let that melt and yeah. fill that in. And, okay. If there I was doing a test with an x-ray, I would grind this oh, completely out definitely. in the tungsten. But this is just, we're just practicing, get back in the groove. Okay. So Bob, I'm just gonna start about like 3 16 quarter inch back. So I get my puddle nice and hot before I run over that, that little filler wire right there. Do it, man. Do it. Do it. So I'm going to sit there and let, since I'm running so cold, I want to basically just stay still and just move my puddle up and down to it. I like the width of it. Then I'm just slowly run over that. So I make sure I burn it in and it just sucked in. It came out clean. It was just filler wire. So I want to just keep paying attention to my angle of my filler wire. Keep trying to lay it flat while I'm walking over. Not flat, but 20 degrees. Too much will cause me to slip back into the puddle. Basically, we just want to find that sweet spot. So I just like basically scoot my legs over without touching the tungsten. And I'm just going to walk it up. Nice and slow. I just pause right before the edge of the puddle, before the edge of the bevel, because uh, it wants to wash over. You gotta wait a second and it'll come, come over. And I always try not to put a lot of pressure on the cup and the filler wire, because it'll cause it slip forward. So I'm just gonna kind of go up here. I'm just gonna pull right off the center of the pipe. I'm just gonna walk up on yours and just pull off. Okay, we don't wanna buff that or rough it up or slick it up any, we just wanna let it air cool. Yeah, air Use cold. Use hand wire brush on it, if anything. Actually, it's not, there's nothing in it except for where you snapped out of it, so. Yeah, so uh, what would you do to get rid of that little eye? Just take a little file and file that out? No, like I'd, that. I'd use a, a wire buffer and touch it and just clean it up a little bit, but there's nothing in it, so I wouldn't mm -hmm. be, I wouldn't be alarmed by it. Gotcha. When you commence your cap run, you want to keep your wire up here on the top edge? Yeah. And let the, filler wire follow the arc? Yeah. Okay. You know, when I'm doing a two bead cap, I want to leave enough room for that shoulder so I can put some metal in there and control it. If I'm too tall, it seems like I get real bumpy real quick. All right. So. Gotcha. Yep. That's a good fill pass. Got it up there flush. Glad this is a small pipe. <laughs> I'm not staying on this bottom too long. I think bigger pipes are easier. I'm just making sure I'm pausing on the long time on that edge on top. And where I slipped earlier, it's kind of high right there, so I'm gonna kind of pull the filler wire out. And we're kind of repositioned, and I'm just kind of walking over that until I make sure there's no undercut on my top of my uh, toe. Make sure it's blending in all right. Then I just reapply my filler wire. And 
Make sure I'm just taking my time. See my puddle, my puddle is getting a little warm, but you don't have to move it, so I'll have to move a little faster. Try and make that up. It's going so slow. I haven't done this for a little while. So I'm just going to kind of walk this around. I think I'm into yours now. Cub, nice run, man. Appreciate it. I'd fill that up a couple times and get it up to flush before you do the single thing. Uh, you know, again, we did this 6G, we did the root. We referenced that video. We did the single fill pass. I left mine a little low. I stacked a two bead cap on my side. Cub come over here and filled up more of what I had, brought it up to flush and ran a single bead. So anyway, this concludes the 6G on the two inch schedule 80. Again, you guys practice up on this. We were running off the Everlast 161 STH, uh, watching our amperage, you know, the fit, things will change, experiment a little bit. Uh, you know, guys will run different size filler wires. They'll have different techniques for fills. So easily attainable, practice, practice, practice. Practice till you get good. And then what? Keep practicing. Drop your hood and practice till you can't get it wrong. I can't I'm old. It. What's your excuse? <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate your support. <laughs> Stop it. I'm sorry. I can't help it. We appreciate your support on Weld.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks so much. Thank you. The camera guy was like, he he wanted to be in some spot, and I was shaking like a puppy pooping peach seed. Man, you got rank. <laughs> My legs are funny. shaking. My legs are shaking.